In this problem, uh, two very large open tanks A and F contain the same liquid A and F. A horizontal pipe B, C, D. This is the horizontal pipe having a constriction that means uh, a small cross section area at C and open to air at D. This is open to air. That means uh, pressure at this will be atmospheric pressure. Pressure here is atmospheric pressure and pressure here is atmospheric pressure <clears throat> this this is open this is open and this is also open at atmosphere leads out of the bottom of the tank a and a vertical pipe e opens into the constriction at c so this vertical pipe is open at the constriction c and dips into the liquid in tank f assume streamline flow and uh, no viscosity if the cross sectional area at c is one of the area at D and if uh, D is a distance H1 below the level of liquid in A to what height S2 will liquid rise in pipe E. Let us first see why the liquid of this tank will rise in this pipe. Here pressure is atmospheric pressure and cross section area is double as compared to cross section area here. From continuity equation, we know that if area is more, then velocity is less. If area is less, then velocity is more. And from continuity equation, continuity equation is A into V is constant. If area is half, then velocity here will be double of velocity at the point D. If velocity at D is equal to V, then velocity at C will be 2V and from Bernoulli's theorem we know that uh, these two points are on the same horizontal level if these are on the same horizontal level then if velocity here is less then pressure here is more if velocity here is uh, more then pressure here is less so pressure at point C will be less than the atmospheric pressure if this pressure is less than atmospheric pressure then in this tube pressure goes below the atmospheric pressure and here here pressure is greater than here pressure is atmospheric pressure if here pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure and in the tube pressure is less than atmospheric pressure then liquid will rise because of this pressure difference so liquid is rising due to the pressure difference created because of high velocity here as compared to this point so this is moving with high velocity as compared to this pressure goes below the atmospheric pressure and due to pressure difference in this tube this liquid rises now for calculation we will use some equations we can find the pressure at this point e the pressure at this point e we can write it as suppose i'm taking this point as E. So pressure at E can be written as pressure here is atmospheric pressure. If this is atmospheric pressure and this is height S2, I am taking density as rho. So pressure is P0 minus rho GS2. So this is the pressure at the point E and this is also because there is air from E to C. So this is the pressure also at the point C. Now we have to calculate the pressure at C in terms of H1 also and that pressure will be equal to this pressure and from that we can find the value of this S2. So let us find the pressures at C in terms of the value of H1. For finding the pressure at C, let us apply first, let us first calculate this V for calculation of V, we apply the Bernoulli's theorem from this point in this container and at this point D. I am taking this point as A. Suppose this point is A. So Bernoulli's theorem or Bernoulli's equation from A to D. Between these two points, I am using Bernoulli's equation. 
and for that i'm taking this level as our reference level this reference level is matching with the this horizontal tube so pressure at a is atmospheric pressure which is p not and this height is h1 so next term is rho g h1 since it is given that these are two large tanks and in large tank cross section area is more and we can neglect the velocity in these tanks so neglecting velocity in these tanks will so third term half rho v square term will be zero now coming to d at d pressure is again p not and since it is at the same level of reference level then this term is zero and velocity here is v it is half rho v square p not will get cancelled and this v will come out as under root 2 gh1 if this is under root 2 gh1 then velocity this is velocity at d and now velocity is at c will be twice of velocity at d it is twice under root 2 gh1 now applying bernoulli's theorem from c to d again applying bernoulli's theorem or bernoulli's equation from point c to point d at point c we need pressure and uh, suppose this pressure is equal to pressure at the point c pc the next term will be zero i am taking reference level at this level only and half rho v square half rho and velocity at this location is this uh, twice of this so this will become it is 4 and 4 into 2 will become 8 it is 8 gh1 now 4 point d the pressure is p naught it is 0 and velocity v square this is 2 gh1 now the calculations this p naught will get cancelled out sorry this p naught will remain pc is equal to p naught plus this 2 and 2 get cancelled out it is rho g h1 minus this is 4 and this will go there it will be minus 4 rho g h1 so pressure at the point c will be p naught minus 3 rho g h1 as we expected that pressure at c is below the atmospheric pressure it is p naught minus this expression and from here we calculated that pressure at c is p naught minus this so these two pressures would be equal so equating this to p naught minus rho g s2 this is equal to p naught minus 3 rho g h1 so there will be some cancellations and after the cancellations we can find s2 is equal to 3 h1 so this is the final answer to this problem